All right. The hard way. Mm. This is your... The easy way? Naval or combat fun way. mission. Your obligatory mini game to replace the awesome tower defense game in last year's Assassin's Creed Revelations. Mm. Okay. So, um, pretty basic controls, left and right steering, um, port and starboard, you have port and starboard steering. Yep. Port and starboard. <laughs> Ports left. Wait, how do you hit B to stop? Ships don't so, stop. So, yeah, that's no sails. Oh, okay. And then you can do half sails or full sails. Oh, that's cool. And wind gusts will come along. And push you off course. Yeah. So the optional objectives. Mm-hmm. Pretty easy, except for the last one. Okay. But I'll mention that when we when we get there. Does this game give you an opportunity to retry getting an optional objective that is at the very nope. end of the mission? No. Without redoing the whole thing. Uh. So if you die, say that the thing's at the very end, mm-hmm. if you just let yourself die, mm-hmm. you'll go to a checkpoint, and you can try from there. Okay. You don't have to go to the very beginning. But you have to get yourself killed? You can't hit start and revert to checkpoint? Um, you might be able to. I don't mm-hmm. remember at this point. It's mm-hmm. so one thing that's driving me crazy about Black Ops right now is there's no revert to checkpoint, mm-hmm. and there are some challenges that you have to do like in a very specific section. Oh, and you're just like, I'm like, God damn it. Oh, and especially <laughs> at, at the very end of one of the missions, it's a driving sequence. And it's, you know, it's at the end of like a 25, 30 minute mission. And it's one tiny little thing that I wasn't even sure what I was screwing up. And mm. I screwed it up multiple times. and I was just tearing my hair out. Like, what's wrong? Oh, thank God I have lots of podcasts to listen to because I'm playing the same fucking mission over and over again. So what are we doing right now? Sailing 1,170, 50, 40, 30 meters. What am I singing? Oh, I'm singing. Um, I'm quoting Sideshow Bob, who is singing. Uh, what's that musical? Something terrible. No, you said you saw it. Saw what? The okay, so the, the Sideshow Bob episode where they where, where um with the rakes. Yeah, I saw the movie Cape Fear. Yeah, Cape Fear. That's what he was singing, wasn't it? No. Oh. He was singing in a musical. Yeah, that's not Cape Fear? <laughs> no, dude. Cape oh. Fear is a thriller with Robert De Niro. Never seen it. I don't know. And they're on a houseboat. I assume that Cape Fear was a musical. No. On a houseboat. Not even a little bit. Oh. Uh, then what's the musical? <laughs> Shit. Who knows, man? Oh. I will send you to heaven before I send you to hell. And then he goes into the musical. The HMS Pinafore. That's the musical. Yep. Full stop, no sale. Never speak of that again. <laughs> Why? It's The Simpsons. Never speak of The Simpsons again? I don't How like Sideshow Bob. What? He's like my least favorite character. Really? Don't I like Kelsey him. Grammer either. Oh, I, I mean, I think he's an excellent villain. He's <laughs> not my favorite character, which is obviously the Bumblebee Man. Yeah. Or Carl, actually. Yeah, Carl Carlson. There are 30 third party factors influenced in, or that are influencing my overall Simpsons character ranking. So <clears throat> this isn't like a terrible mini game, mm-hmm. but it's not good. I it's mean, it's not fun it, or does it just, or, to, or is it because you had to replay it like multiple times? Cause from what I've seen in the reviews, people actually really like this. Oh, in my opinion, it was meh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, this time of year, with the caliber of games coming out, uh-huh. I don't want to replace ship missions. I want to play Dishonored or mm-hmm. Halo or Black Ops yeah. <clears throat> or the rest of Assassin's Creed that's not <laughs> sailing. Mm-hmm. In fact, <clears throat> believe it or not, this is the second ship combat game I've ever played. Second ship combat. The first being spaceship. <clears throat> Star Fox. No. Oh. Naval. Oh, naval. actually, it was no. It was airships. The other ship combat was in oh, the air. Oh, the Dreamcast game. Mm-hmm. What was that called? Skies of Arcadia. And they had ships. Yeah. Nautical. 
water but ships. It wasn't like so in this game you just like it's real time. Mm -hmm. You turn and you shoot. Mm -hmm. This was like turn based combat. So you had to like Oh, Final plan Fantasy out. style. Yeah, you had to plan out your attacks. Mm. And it was really tactical. Hmm. And I loved it. But I was also 13. So and had the patience like for something like 13, that. 13, 14 years ago. Yeah. But. <clears throat> so what's the strategy for the ships? Like, is there a trick that you've learned after playing through the whole game and finished? It looks like you finished recording. Yeah. Um, two guns. An accurate gun. Which I'm using here, mm -hmm. and then, all right, which one am I using? No, I'm using the one's like the full side of two cannons, mm -hmm. and the other is just a, an accurate gun. I mean, mm. there's no depth to this ship combat. Really? Keep turning. Mm. You, you don't even have to be an ambi turner to Can beat this. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're sailing into the wind, you have to be. Uh, in in real sailing. Yeah. Not in this. Oh. You, really? Can you sail under the wind? You don't this? have to... You don't have to sail. Yeah, you don't have to have any idea of how sailing works. Oh, really? None. Oh, I love sailing. Yeah, but sailing's tricky. Yeah. And it would piss people off. This game is dumbed down. Oh, this really? This is dumbed down so then, from the last two. So then what do the gusts of wind do? <clears throat> Blow you... Like just to kinda, the side. <laughs> oh, you don't have to. You, you don't have to watch the. Um, what do you call those? The flags. To, sh no. to see what direction the wind is nope. blowing. Oh, so you just. That's really lame. Yeah, it's not. There's no depth. It's oh. sail. I assume that there was and aim and shoot. Oh, well, I guess it makes sense for a game to have it a little bit simpler like that because that might not be fun. For oh yeah, it would be awful if you had to actually sail. Would it? Yeah. You might, I would hate it. What if it was an extra challenge? Like like uh, turning on a manual in a car game? Yes. Yes, you have a manual transmission on this boat. <laughs> and it involves Ugh. following the flags. And, and, no, uh, it would suck balls. Oh. Yeah, you're probably right. All right, good decision. <laughs> yeah, I rescind my complaint. So for the little ships, you use the little guns, oh. and the big ships. Well, you can use the big guns on the little ship too. Let's do that. And you Sounds can use like the little fun. guns on the big ship. So I just said a completely stupid statement. And you're sailing in circles. Yeah, I with said heavy wind. You don't have to be an ambi turner. <laughs> Choose one, making you better feeling. Mm -hmm. What if that was a challenge? Only turn to the right in an entire first-person shooter. That would be tough. Oh, man. How freaking crazy would that be? <laughs> that is a crazy... It would have to be a menu, uh, like a setting you could turn on, like Ambi Turner. It doesn't let you turn left. Yeah, like you, because you would accidentally do it. Just right. instinctively. Right. Instantly. Like, I'd screw that up so quick, I wouldn't even... Oh, there's also a duck button, so... Um, <laughs> so if they're aiming for yeah, headshots <clears throat> instead of the, the side of the boat. You can see when they're going to shoot because there's big light. See? That yeah. big light went out. Mm -hmm. That's my targeting system. Mm -hmm. And when they when theirs goes out, then you know to duck. See that red one? Yeah. Yeah. And that means duck. Yep. Or else the cannon's going to get a headshot on you and take your head clean off. Yeah, it doesn't really hurt you if uh, you duck. So yeah, that's one of the side objectives, is successfully duck. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I guess this is the, the tutorial mission for the ships, right? Yeah. Do you ever get... Is there a way to just say, fuck this ship, and board their ship, and steal their ship, and just kill them all by I hand? I wish there was. That would be cool. I mean, you do that, but it's like pre-scripted mm -hmm. when you do it. You can't just choose to do that. Can't go all Jack Sparrow all over their ass. No, you have to wait until the game lets you go Jack Sparrow. Hmm. All right, there we go. Took him out. No, didn't even take him out yet. Well, I got the optional objective done at least. Hmm. So for every sailing mission, we should get three sheets. 
<laughs> three sails to the wind. Do you know that phrase? Yeah. Three sheets to the wind? Yeah, it oh, means okay. you're drunk. Yeah, exactly. And I was saying, turn it into a boating term. Three sails to the wind. That's when you're drunk on a boat. It is a sailing term. Three sheets to the wind. No. Oh. <laughs> it's. I didn't know it's a sailing term. Yeah. I I'm pretty sure a, it is. It's a drunken term. I think it, yeah, yeah, because it's... I gotta look this up now. <laughs> okay. Three sheets to the wind. Oh, so I said earlier there's a hard objective. That's not this sailing mission. That's a later one. Oh. Oh, Google. You're so helpful. And? Uh, it means when you just rub the dog hair in your cut. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. To understand this phrase, we need to enter the arcane world of nautical terminology. Are we All out right. of time? No. Nope. Next video. All you needed to say was nautical. No, because I'm curious. I want to. I want to know the definition. Next video, I'll explain three sheets. Stay tuned for the definition of three sheets to the wind. <laughs>